Let's face it. <laughs> We're treading on ice there anyway. But if he gets it right on this one, I'll map it differently. <laughs> So, after weeks of whinging, twisting, Spence, at him, to get the Lupo out, get some more mapping done. Have you had the virus? It... Well, yeah, I'm better now. <laughs> it's all, all good. So, we're out mapping the Lupo on Ignatron. We are. We've never pushed this car on Ignatron as far as it was on ME 7.5. No, no. It's only ever been a bar. Yeah. But, at a bar, might I add, so there may have been, may have been. There may have been a time when we had a little bit of a play, and uh, all oh. under the speed limit, of course. Ah, oh, uh, just 60. And the loop all on Ignatron at a bar, and Spence on the rod bender, then, weren't you? Ah, uh, so yeah, yeah. A good Full one and a half bender. bar. The loop all just. <laughs> you were gapped. Uh, <laughs> I had a fish tank in the boot. <laughs> Uh, fish. It was, I've got fish. It was Who's full of water as well. <laughs> <laughs> full of wind. Right. So today we've been a uh, bit of a slack day and we're allowed out obviously so I thought why not come and uh, push the mapping on the loop ball a little bit further. So why not push this to that one and a 1.4 bar maybe and we'll see what it makes. Yeah. Well, bit uh, crack on it. Let's do this. Boom. Righty. Team prone, bro. Team prone. <laughs> uh, I'm letting the side down today, of course. But well, you, you could wear your Badger 5 t shirt. <laughs> mm, only one. Who sent you that? What was his name again? Alex. Oh, Alex. I don't know. Nah. Is, is he dead to you? Dead to me. <laughs> gone. Gone. Spence wants a Badger 5 t shirt. No, 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 no. It's all right. I think a couple of people want a Badger 5 t-shirt. Leave a comment if you want a Badger 5 t-shirt. Special we'll, edition frog and, one. And we'll maybe see if we can get them hooked up. I think that'd be pretty cool. It's a cool t-shirt. Alex did a good job, so. Ready. So Not sorry. as good as Luke. Not a, uh, cheers, Luke. Yeah, Appreciate and and he got the right size. Ah, only because I told him. Oh, okay. Right, so <laughs> first thing we'll do is we need to get the car out and we'll just log it. So the existing map, We've only got dialed into a bar, and it's been literally, oh, it's been, it's a long time isn't it, since we've looked at this. It was, wasn't it? It was Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't been on the track day since then, oh, yeah. which is crazy. But yeah, so we'll, first thing we'll do is we'll go out, we'll log the car on this bar, just to make sure we've got a log to check, and then we'll go from there. The strictness again. I just wanted to up it. Are you still talking? Honestly. Just all the time. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Right, so we've just done a quick log there and we're hitting just below a bar, which I think we were before to be fair. So I thought, why don't we just get ourselves to a bar and then we can maybe call this preset one done and we'll move on to a second preset, which will increase it a bit. So when we've increased it, we've went into a fuel and load table, which we haven't mapped. So therefore the fuel and adaptation is quite big, which means that we just need to smooth this big hump out. And the reason that's big and the rest of the table isn't is purely because we haven't been in that part of the table yet. So with that smoothed out, we'll now increase the boost again and do some more fuel adaptations. And basically just take it up nice and easy so the fueling is always you know, at the right amount for the boost that we're requesting and getting. Uh, and then once we're happy with that, we'll then maybe think about putting a little bit of timing in and look at the timing maps as well. But are you happy with that Master Tuna? 
Yeah, I'll apply that now. Apply it. Right, so on that pole you increased boost pressure to 220 uh, kPa and we're hitting about 212 on a decent pull. But feeling all looks good, uh, timing there's still no correction pull so we need to uh, again go back to the duty cycle and, and try and up the duty cycle to make sure that we are actually meeting the requested boost and we'll do that whilst doing some lambda adaptations yet again. Well I won't, Spenny will. He's busy learning how to use a computer, bless him. It's like, welcome to the 21st century, splendidly. Cheers. <laughs> so yet again on the fuel and adaptation, we're entering more cells that we haven't been into yet. So we're actually going into the 220 cell here and the fuel and adaptation is a little big. And again, that's just because we haven't been in there yet, so we'll, we'll smooth that out, correct it, and then we'll, uh, we'll have a look at the boost and, and go for a little bit more uh, duty cycle. That's right, enough. Okay, so that's written to the ECU. Uh, I'll just reset a few adaptations. Round the adaptation. Reset. Buddy! You're being kind of nasty. What? You're being kind of nasty. Well, let's. Didn't get chips yesterday. Well, let's get this fuel and let's not bother with time and let's just. Get the fuel in, we'll see what the power output is. A nice clean fourth gear run, I think we'll call the day. What, see if Nick's right? See if Nick's right? Yeah. Or to 268, isn't it? What, he thinks that. Well, that's what he thought of mine, didn't he? Or was it? I no, that's the rod bend I see, man. Ah, no, but still, it said 268, so if we're then seeing he gets it right on this one, he's. He might not have been right there. But he's if right he gets again. it right on this one, I'll map it differently. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we've just done a fourth gear pull there and we went into limp mode right at the end uh, and it was right at the top. Now, if we come into the log here and you can see that we've hit a little bit of knock there on cylinder three. See a little bit, it's at 7.4 degrees, retard. Uh, and that's tailed off. And then we're starting to get it on cylinders three and four over here. Now, if I have a look at the advanced table, you can see that obviously we're load goes up with boost right up until the point that we hit uh, the 220 and that's where we boost is and then you can see that we'll continue along there which is where the knock is on cylinder 3 and then it dips into cylinder 4 as well and then that's where we'll let off so this line here we need to just trim some advance out of that and then we'll go for it again. So I'll just take some out of there, but how freaking awesome. Ignatron, protecting the engine. <laughs> right, I'll trim this out, then we'll go for another fourth gear pull. We'll see if we can do it all the way to Redline and see what the power's. Uh, boost is about 1.2 bar, so it's feeling really, really strong right up until that sort of uh, 5,000 RPM where it just doesn't like it. So we'll take that uh, advance out and we'll go again. Right, so there's another pull done and ignition advance knock retard is minimal now. It's 0.6, probably is 1. It's still on that sort of line there, which is just where we are at full boost. And now we're just creeping up high RPM, so I think we're going to trim some more advance out of this uh, table. Uh, we'll do some more fuel and adaptations and then we'll hit it again. <laughs> we need some aircon in here, don't we? Definitely. <laughs> Freaking boiling. 
but this is a track car so no such niceties right i think we've basically come to a head with this uh, mapping for now we've be, obviously been doing it with the ignitron the whole time but we are coming into a problem on the ignitron it's actually registering that for the 1.2 bar of boost or just over that we're hitting it's getting nice and steady boost but i think we're running out of fuel so you can see there that the v table in the background is pretty solid uh, and the lambda down here is pretty strong all the way we're hitting point eight threes eight fours but it's solid all the way right up until the point where if we look in injection and we'll go down and we'll look at our injector duty cycle <laughs> which is actually through the roof so we're hitting far too high injector duty cycle there and that can only be down to the fuel pump because the VE table is providing enough fuel it's a nice solid uh, lambda, um, but that injector cycle is creeping up the I mean, it's getting right up to 100%. And these are 550 injectors in here. So 550 should support, you know, the 270, 280 horse oh, no that this problem. might be putting out. Um, the ECU is actually showing 260 to 270 brake. Uh, so I believe that it's, it's feeling really strong. It feels like good kill for power, doesn't it? But because we're running out of injector duty cycle, um, straight away that's pointing the water fuel pump uh, and I, th I think this has got the Mark IV Golf fuel yeah, pump in yeah, yeah. so I mean let's face it <laughs> we're treading on ice there anyway but but luckily I've got the DA31 fuel pump out of the S3 to put in so it just looks like we need to put a fuel pump in and then come out and try it again so really really cool that though the Ignitron is such an iterative process it allows you to just log absolutely everything see it uh, you know in a really nice clear format and then when we were running out of injector duty cycle It just jumps the car straight into the limp mode check the fault code. Yeah, yeah, yeah Your lambda's deviating have a look. Yeah, and blah, 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 blah. Injector duty cycle is all over the place and boom We've got to the point where we hit 100% duty cycle now. We didn't really want to go over say 80% normally so 100% <laughs> too much yeah. and like I say we know they're 550 so it's got to be fuel pump simple as that Anyway, I think that'll end this mapping session. Uh, so thanks very much for watching. Hopefully, you know, if you're interested in an Ignitron mapping, then that'll help you out. We'll get a fuel pump on and we'll sort it out. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. It's a good little session, that one, it? Yeah. We're getting there, aren't we? <laughs>